Welcome to History Makers TV. My name is Matt Prater, and uh, it is so exciting to be here at Easterfest. All week I've had butterflies in my stomach. It's Good Friday today, uh, the day that we celebrate the death of Jesus Christ and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, more importantly, uh, on Easter Sunday. Uh, we're here in the middle of Toowoomba. There are thousands of people. Uh, Pre-sales have been up 50% this year. Uh, Toowoomba had this horrible disaster with the floods earlier on in 2011 and a lot of people have rallied behind the cause because some of the uh, money that, uh, that's raised at Easterfest goes towards the flood recovery and it is a great humanitarian effort up here at Toowoomba. So here we are, we've got bands like Switchfet, uh, Switchfoot, <laughs> Switchfeet, uh, Switchfoot, uh, Classic Petra, uh, we've got Naturally Seven, we've got Sean McDonald, Rapture Ruckus from New Zealand, uh, New World Sun, some of the best bands of the world are here. And uh, we're doing interviews here at the Vision Radio stage. And uh, I just thought I'd invite in a good, a good mate of mine, Ian Warby. He's the CEO of Vision Radio and UCB Australia. G'day, Ian. How going? Good day, g'day, mate. Good to see you. It's really great to be here. There's a real buzz going on here today, eh? Oh, there is. I think everyone's excited. Uh, now, mate, uh, for those who aren't sure what UCB Australia does, tell us what you're all about. Well, United Christian Broadcasters is about connecting faith to life right across Australia. We're in every state and territory now with 473 relay stations and growing every week. We also are the publishers of two really great daily devotionals, The Word for Today and The Word for You Today, our, our new youth edition. And uh, that's our big focus here this weekend. We're also partnering with JC Epidemic and we're giving away thousands and thousands of this wonderful daily devotional, The Word for You Today, and uh, also giving away free ice creams with that as well. So, you know, with the weather the way it is today, I'm sure they'll go really uh, quickly as well. Now, uh, Ian, I know uh, you're, you're a Petra fan. You probably grew up listening to them in your, uh, your teen years or maybe your 20s, I'm not sure. Uh, what other bands are you looking forward to seeing this weekend? Well, I really am looking forward to seeing uh, uh, Paul Common Trio uh, getting back together again as well. Also looking out for Peter Furlow as he makes his debut uh, solo appearance here over the weekend. Uh, for those who don't know, he was part of uh, the Newsboys. And so it's good to see him uh, strut the stage on his own. I, I hear he's, he's also got a few butterflies there as well. But, so I'll be looking forward to that as well. So it'll be really great to, to, to hang out here. And as we celebrate Easter uh, in uh, what could be the Southern Hemisphere's biggest Christian festival. So it's fantastic to be here. Now, mate, uh, for people who aren't sure about the size of Christian radio, um, you know, I think there's about 42 community stations around the country who are, you know, full-time Christian licensed broadcasters. As you mentioned, you guys have over 470 and counting. By the time this goes to air, it's probably 500, who knows? Uh, you have uh, stations all around, all through country towns, capital cities, all around Australia. You're online on the internet. Uh, tell me, uh, you've been, you're one of the pioneers of Christian radio. You've been in it for you know since Port Macquarie days. We're both North Coast, New South Wales boys. We, we know the, that area well. Um, what's the future of Christian radio? What can we look forward to uh, in the coming decades with Christian radio? Well, I think we're seeing some amazing, uh, you know, seismic changes to technology, and obviously, you know, we're seeing some things where radio is moving across to being online, to being mobile through um, uh, personal applications like iPhone and Androids and things like that. But I still feel there's a great future for radio because radio is a very personal medium. Um, it's not as impersonal, say, as television. You know, often referred to, you know, television is all you people out there in television land, and I know we're on on the video here. But radio is such a personal uh, medium and I think it really aligns itself well to that wonderful scripture that says that faith cometh by hearing and hearing of the word and we can reach people where they're at whether it's in the uh, the personal space of their car as they're driving around shut-ins uh, people listening in through their uh, headphones you know radio reaches people where they're at and it really helps form people's opinion uh, on what's happening in the world uh, and it's a really great way of engaging people so I still think there's a wonderful future for radio yes we need to get with the uh, the new technology and we're migrating over to that and we're seeing that it's even going to provide more opportunities for us to reach more people. Fantastic mate. Now last question and most important question. Uh, we're here celebrating uh, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. 
Uh, it is the highlight of the Christian calendar. That's why we're here at Easter Fest. Sure, we love the music, we love the coffee, we love the hot cross buns that we just gulped down. Uh, we love all, all the uh, you know the fun that we get to have here. Uh, but the most important reason we're here is to worship and celebrate uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. For those viewers who aren't sure what that is you know some people think you've got to be good to get to heaven some people think you've got to go to church to get to heaven some people think um you've got to you know uh, do all sorts of religious things to get to heaven um really in a nutshell Ian, would you just share with our viewers what is the gospel of jesus christ to you the gospel of jesus christ is that we all know that we fall short of god's um, plan for our lives and he paid a price that we were never able to pay. You know, recently I got back from Israel, and I can tell you, you can go around the world and you can go to the, uh, to the grave of Buddha and to uh, Confucius and all the other so-called, you know, enlightened people of this age. But I went into the tomb of Jesus Christ, and it is empty. He's alive, yeah. and he's coming back. And that is something that we can build our life on. It's an absolute, uh, it's something that we can be so confident about. And so that's why we're celebrating this weekend, because we know he's alive and he's made a promise he's going to come back and take us to be with him forever and so I would encourage you to go and check it out for yourself read the Bible and pray to God and say God your word says that if I seek you you that will find you and I and I, I just challenge you to make that sincere prayer and say Lord if you're out there reveal yourself to me and he will good on you Ian mate I reckon you're a history maker thanks for joining us thank you so much enjoy the weekend Okay, guys, we're here at Easter Fest. We're going to be talking to Switchfoot. We're going to be talking to Article One uh, from Canada, Sean McDonald, Classic Petra, all the, the best, the, some of the best bands in the world. Uh, make sure you tune in. Thanks for joining us on History Makers TV. History. history.